Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to make a two-part project. First, I'll show you how to sublimate tile magnets, and then I'll show you how to make a nice display for your magnets to stand on. First, let's go over the items we'll need to sublimate our tiles. I have six blank tiles, some magnets with self-adhesive on the back. If your magnets do not have self-adhesive, I do suggest you use a hot glue gun to attach those. I have some heat tape, the images I would like to display. You will need a yellow felt pad and a green rubber pad and a couple sheets of protective paper. What you're going to want to do first is align your tiles with your image. And your images should be slightly larger than the 2x2 two two tiles to make sure you have a full bleed. And once we have those in place, we can secure it down using our heat tape. I'm going to apply my last piece of heat tape to secure my tiles and once they're in place, I'm now ready to prepare my press. I have my press set at 400 degrees. It's been warming up. I'm going to first want to place my yellow felt pad on the bottom of my press and cover it up with a sheet of protective paper. Next, I want to grab my tiles. I don't have to flip them over. Since they are ceramic, the heat will transfer straight through from my press. I will want to make sure that all of my tiles are on the felt pad, which they are. Next, I'll add one more sheet of protective paper for the top. And the last thing we're going to do is place our green rubber pad over our tiles. Like I said, our press is set at 400 degrees. I'm using medium pressure and we're going to press six tiles for six minutes. Well, that sound means we're done, so I'm going to lift and swing away on my press. Remove my green rubber pad and protective paper. It will be very hot, so either grab on the corners or get you a pair of gloves. And let's get these tiles off right away. I'm going to let them sit on my press for just a couple minutes, make sure that they're nice and cool before we assemble our magnets. As you can see, they turned out nice, so we're just going to give those a couple minutes and we'll be able to assemble our magnets and finish our project. All right, well, I've given my tiles some time to cool and I'm ready to assemble my magnets. And you'll want to remember that if you don't have self-adhesive magnets, that you can attach them using a hot glue gun onto the backs of your tiles. But this makes it a little bit easier. I'll just peel off the tape, place my magnet in the center, press down firmly, and I'm going to do that with all six tiles. Well, I just finished assembling the magnet on my final tile, and this is going to complete step one of our project. Step two is going to be making our standalone display for our magnets to sit on. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the table, and we'll be ready to go moving on to step two. 